Well, it's a joy to come to you to share one of the greatest passions that's been in my life for many, many, many years. And that is the passion of being in the ministry, doing the Lord's work. I have been the lead pastor here at Calvary Assembly of God for almost 40 years. And it's been a privilege and a joy to be on this journey, to see what God has done over the years. And when I think about it in the time when I started in the ministry, I really feel like it began when I was a little boy. I remember so many Sundays coming into church and I would pick up all the seats in the chair. We had theater seating and I'd pick up all the seats because I reasoned that when people come into church that they could get into the seat better if the seats were up. I reasoned this. So if it wasn't before the service, it would be after a service on a Sunday night. I'd pick up all the seats thinking when folks come back in, they'll be able to put the seat down, be easy to see. In the foyer of the church, there are times when people would let the coat hangers fall on the floor from the coat rack, or there'd be pieces of paper, or there might be a church bulletin. I made it my point as a little boy to pick up those coat hangers and put them back on the rack, pick up them pieces of paper, the bulletin, get rid of them. And I did this on a weekly basis. I grew to love the church. I grew to love being in church. My mom and dad always, always had us in church. So that became a real part of my life and I enjoyed serving the Lord like that. Now at the time I'm doing this, I'm not realizing that this is really part of God's plan for my life. In fact, I remember I was sitting in a service one Sunday evening and oh, I guess I probably was uh, fifth or sixth grade, something like that. And uh, God blessed me with the ability to draw. So I remember drawing a picture of the pastor in the pulpit and on a Sunday night and he was preaching away. And I drew a picture of him and I kept that picture for years. With the ideal of mine, I would think, wouldn't it be just great if one day I could teach and preach like he did? He was really good. And I thought, well, it would be so neat if I could do that someday. Well, little did I know that that was the beginning of my call to be in the ministry. And as I grew older, I remember one day in high school, in junior high school, middle of the year, I was walking across the art room to go to my seat and the Lord spoke to me and said, you're going to Bible school. So I knew at that point, I'm gonna to go to Bible school and I'm gonna go into the ministry. I felt God was definitely confirming I was gonna go into the ministry. At the time, I wasn't thinking that when I drew the picture of the pastor preaching, that I would one day be doing that. But yet it was a burning desire in my heart to be that way. So I kind of come up with this little thought that if you draw in church, God will punish you and put you in the ministry for doing that during the church service, which you know I'm having fun with you. But here's what happened. This was so cute. Somebody in the church gave me this little statue of a preacher, and they thought it looked somewhat like me ball-headed, glasses, a mustache. <laughs> I thought about that picture I drew when I was a little boy, and it came to pass. And I want to say it has been an absolute, absolute joy and honor to serve the Lord in this capacity. You know, Scripture tells us in the book of Psalms, Psalm 78, it says, He chose David, his servant, and took him from the sheep pens, from tending the sheep, he brought about, brought to him, to be the shepherd of his people, Jacob, of Israel, his inheritance. And David shepherded them with integrity of heart, with skillful hands, he led them. That word skillful there means wisdom. It means that God gave David the wisdom to carry on the responsibility to shepherd his people, Israel. I've taken that passage of scripture very seriously over the years and realized that that's exactly what God did for me as a little boy. When I was going around the church, hopping to keep the church clean, picking up the seeds, picking up the coat hangers, doing those little things, actually going with my parents and hopping to do work around the church, God was just preparing me. He was preparing me for a life of service in the work of the Lord. And so it is with after almost 40 years here at Calvary Assembly of God, I have reached a place in my life where I am now ready to transition. I'm transitioning from what I call the pulpit to the pew. 
I'm going to be in the next few months ahead transitioning into instead of leading the body of Christ from the pulpit as it were I will be worshiping with the body of Christ in the pews and ministering you know I was a parishioner I tell people I was a prisoner for the first 22 years of my life serving in the church doing door-to-door -door canvassing going to hospitals going to nursing homes running the youth group being involved in the choir as a young person grown up in our church. I, I had the experience of being fully in, engulfed with the, the life of church. And it, again, as that was part of my development at the time, uh, here I am today. I've gone through that journey now. I spent all these years in the ministry. And 40, almost 40 of them has been here at Calvary Assembly of God. And now I'm ready to transition. I want to be a part, and it's my wife and I's hope and goal to be a part of what God's doing here at Calvary, to serve alongside the people, to still be able to do things for the Lord that I've been doing all these years. Because I was a parishioner from early on, I'm going to continue to be a parishioner in the work of the Lord. So I want to make sure that it's known today that I am, am moving along in, in good faith with the backing of the church board, uh, with the encouragement of the uh, ministry team. And it's all been a good journey and it's all been done uh, above board. I, I'm leaving because I feel the Lord is having me transition, not because of anything that's going on. It's been a beautiful experience. And I look forward to it continuing to be a beautiful experience that whatever, whatever God has in store for Calvary, we're going to continue to go forward. We're going to continue to push forward. We're going to continue to reach the lost. Because the greatest passion of my heart of being in the ministry is that how many people can we get into the kingdom of God? I believe that God called the church to go and make disciples of all nations. So I am anticipating and I'm looking forward to coming alongside of everybody in this church to help bring more and more people into the kingdom of God before Jesus comes. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this. You know, I've often said that pastors don't always form and shape churches, but church people help to shape the pastor as we work together as a team. And that's what we've done over the years. We've worked together as a team where I've been able to help shape your lives. You've helped shape my life. You gave me the gift of opportunity. You gave me the gift of being able to stay here this long. And I thank the Lord for that. I thank you for that because together we've been able to go forward and be the church that God wants us to be. And I believe we'll continue to take us forward to be the church that God would have us to be. So why don't you hear it from me that God is in this transition. We are looking forward to continue to minister for his kingdom and God bless you.